guys welcome to color me pink how are you today well my today's tutorial is on the look that I'm wearing right now I like to call it my glamour look if you like this look and would you would like to see a tutorial on it please stay tuned Ta -da. so I'm gonna start my eyes by taking a small piece of tape on the back of my hand and placing it on the corners of my eye in a 45 degree angle this will ensure that the tape does not put a pull my skin when I take it off ensuring that there are no creases whatsoever and then repeat the same thing on the other eye make sure the tape is in the same angle on both the eyes then going in with my favorite urban decay eye primer and applying it all over my eyelid with my ring finger and blending it in also make sure you apply it towards the inner corner of your eyes the primer will make sure the, uh, there is no creasing on the eyes and will also make the eyeshadow colors pop. Next going in with the shade Naked from my Naked palette and applying it all over my eyelids. This will help in setting up my primer and also will create a clean canvas for other colors to pop in. Next going in with the color Buck for my crease. This is my favorite, favorite uh, crease color. Any eye look that I create, I always start in with this color. I just like to have a defined crease when I start working. Taking this color in a windscreen motion on my crease and blending it. And also creating a small triangle towards the corner of my eyes. So make sure that you blend in very well. Mm, the smoky eye is one look that where you need a lot of blending, so be ready to blend. Next, taking in the mauve and the purpley shades from my Krylon palette and blending them in my crease. Again, taking them in towards the outer corners of the eyes and in the crease. At this point, I'm taking this with my small blending brush. Uh, I'm not taking a bigger fluffy blending brush because at this point, I just want to build in the color and I'm not taking it over my crease line. Next, taking in the chocolatey brown color from the Krylon palette and placing it in the corners of the eye and blending it. Then taking the same color with whatever is left on the brush and bringing it towards the crease and blending some more. In this I'm taking the color in the inner corners of my eyes as well but you don't need to do that because I did change my mind later on and decided to go with the glitter on the entire eyelid. So you can skip uh, putting the color in the inner corners just take it on the crease and then to add some more depth I went it with a copperish brown shade to add in more depth towards the corners of my eye. I like to build in the color slowly and steadily and see what I'm liking and what I'm not. And going in with my big fluffy brush and blending it all together like so. Don't worry about it being messy. We will be clearing it up in a bit. Just make sure you are blending in well. Now I'm taking my two-way gel from Makeup Studio and applying it on my mobile lid. Also, I am not applying it on the outer corners of my eyes. Next, I'm going with my Inglot uh, pigment in the color 81 and applying it with a small precision brush all over my eyelid. This is a beautiful berry pigment. In fact, all the pigments from Inglot are gorgeous and this color in particular is one of my favorite. Make sure you're taking the glitter only on the mobile lid and not towards the crease. Next, I'm taking Creep from my Naked palette and applying it on the outer corners of my eyelid. Just the outer corners. That Sorry, that's my husband trying to bomb my video. Mm. Now going in with my Lacme eyeliner and creating a wing. Mm. 
and now tight lining my eyes with the Rimmel Coal pencil. Also taking it in the inner corner to highlight that almond shape. Next taking half bake from my Naked palette and you putting it on a precision brush and applying a little bit of makeup fix on it and then applying it in the inner corners of my eye. This will help it uh, shine more and also help it stay, stick more in the inner corners of my eyes. I am doing this because sometimes we tend to water uh, in the inner corners and this will make sure that the color does not go anywhere. Also taking the same color in my brow bone and blending it. And now removing the scotch tape. Hmm, finally. Okay, so you can see I have a lot of fallout. Now I'll be taking my makeup removing wipes and removing all the fallout. So when uh, doing a smoky eye, it is better if you do your eyes first and then your face. So in that case, if you have fallout, you can clean it up easily and you don't have to worry about the mess. Now starting my under eyes with an eye primer. I'm applying an eye primer. You can apply a regular primer as well. This will help with the creasing of the product. Then following it up with an orange concealer. What will this will do is cancel out any darkness or dark circles under my eyes. And then applying it with my ring finger in a dabbing motion and blending it. I'm following that up with a Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm applying it under my eye in a V shape. This will help in brightening up my under eye area. Now I'm going in with my sponge and blending that concealer. Make sure that you do it in a dabbing motion else you will rub away the corrector that we had applied below. After you set in your under eye, you go in back with the purple and the brown color from the Krylon palette using a small precision brush placing it on the under eye area and blending it. What I'm trying to do is create the same effect that I had created on the upper eyelid and then adding a little bit of black for the same smoky effect and blending some more. Using a small fluffy brush blending in all the colors together. using a white liner pencil in the waterline this will help in opening up my eyes and make them look a lot bigger next going in with my Rimmel's candle eyes mascara and giving it a good coat on my upper and bottom eyelashes this is a good known waterproof mascara it creates in a lot of drama and as you know I'm a sucker for mascara this is definitely a must-have And after all that hard work, your eye should look something like this. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, I know. Thank you. Now I'm going to be doing the same steps on my other eye and I'll be back in a bit. Once both the eyes are done, it's time to add in some false eyelashes. I'm going in with the fluttery eyelashes. If you want to learn how I've put in my eyelashes, do check out my tutorial on how to apply false eyelashes. I will attach a link below. Once the false eyelashes are on, it's time to add in some mascara. 
uh, we do this step to blend in both the natural and the artificial eyelashes and lastly using your index finger giving the eyelashes a final push up all right guys so i'm done with my makeup for my lipstick i've applied my shimbor lipstick i will share in all the product details in the description box so you can have a look and if you think that this tutorial was helpful make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel Thank you.